Hey guys, this is Thursday here on the Tia Vapes channel and today we are reviewing Longhorn Vapor Company. Alright, so I just want to show you the bottle. Now Longhorn Vapor Company has three lines of e-liquid. They have their original line, which I didn't get sent to me, their VG line, and their private collection. This is a 35 milliliter bottle. This is their private collection and these are 15 milliliter bottles but I did not see an option on their website to purchase the 15 milliliter bottles in the private line. Private line comes in four milligrams, eight milligrams, 12 milligrams and 16 milligrams. And all the 35 milliliter bottles of the private line come in this neat little wooden box with their stamp and some things on the back here. So that in their 35 milliliter bottles are $29.99. This flavor is Texas Fair. Texas Fair is Texas strawberries and cream. And I can smell it, it smells really good. The original line has 16 flavors. The private collection has five flavors and the VG collection has five flavors. And here are the bottles for the VG collection. They are in these amber bottles. And this is the 15 milliliter and this is the 35 milliliter, this is $10, this is $20, and it's 90% VG. Bandit is sweet milk and honey. Wild Rodeo is a crisp blueberry champagne, so I'm going to be trying this today. Outlaw is a twisted take on Texas tea. Lone Star is a mixture of bourbon, almonds, and vanilla. That sounds really good. Abominable Snowman is a sweet minty flavor. Dark Temptations tastes like exactly like hot cocoa. Forbidden fruit is fresh blackberries with an undertone of grape. Fuzzy navel is of course supposed to taste like the drink with peach and tangerine and pineapple. And Paradise Island is bananas and strawberries mixed with cream. Alright, I got my dripper here and I'm going to try out a few of their flavors from their PG collection and a few from their private collection. The first one I'm going to try from their private collection is the Wild Rodeo. Oh wow. I've never had a blueberry champagne flavor. I don't think I've even had a champagne flavor. I've had blueberry. But this is interesting. I really like this. Next I'm going to try their bandit flavor which is a sweet milk and honey flavor and I haven't had that before either so I want to try it out. Oh wow, this smells delicious. That is a really good flavor, holy cow. It's like thick, creamy honey. Really good, really smooth throat hit too. Um, Again, I always say it's probably because I have a lower nick level, and if you do vape in the higher nick levels, it might be a little harsher. Ooh, I am impressed so far. So I'll try one more from the private line, and then move on to their BG collection. Okay, this Lone Star was another flavor that stood out to me that I haven't had before. It's a mix of bourbon, almonds, and vanilla, and I freaking love almonds. I probably eat almonds with my breakfast every single day. Ooh. Oh wow, that smells so good. It's almost like a chocolatey almond with the spicy bourbon smell. I'm excited. Oh my god, this one is the best. Now I'm not a big, I'm not, now I'm not a huge fan of alcohol vapes, vapes that have alcohol in them, just because like some of them, it's just really hard to get a certain alcohol right, but this is just... Oh my gosh, I wish I could eat this. That is so good. Oh my god, I gotta get that in a tank. Okay, so the first one from their VG line that I want to try is the pa Paradise Island flavor because it's a bananas, strawberry, and cream flavor and 
and I'm a big fan of that mixture. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This smells so good, you guys. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, banana is the more prominent flavor. Oh my god, that is so good. It's like a creamy banana with an undertone of strawberry. A lot of banana with a little strawberry and just creamy heaven. That is an all day vape right there. That is going in the Nautilus right now. Now I'm gonna try the Fuzzy Navel because I do drink those drinks. I've had Fuzzy Navel from other companies, but um, let's see how this one stacks up. Ooh, this one's good too. Seriously, I've just been impressed with these e-liquids. Um, thumbs up so far. Good vape reproduction, even off this tiny dripper. Ooh, it's getting hot. I've been vaping away on it. Um, so, I just tried five, five flavors, and definitely the bananas and cream and strawberries is my favorite, and that's going in a tank right now. Mmm, delicious. I wish I could. I wish it was in real life. So good. I am going to have to give two thumbs away, way up to Longhorn Vapor Company, which I don't know if I mentioned, but it is a USA based company. Okay, I couldn't resist. I'm going to try the Dark Temptations just because um, I've tried a lot of chocolate flavors and chocolate is like a hard uh, flavor to really get right. So, and since I'm so impressed with what I've already vaped, I'm gonna give this one a shot. It smells like any other chocolate flavor would smell. It's almost like chocolate pudding. I don't really get hot cocoa from it. I get like chocolate pudding. Almost like it's like a creamy chocolate. Ooh, I really, really like that too. Um, not like a huge fan of chocolate vapes, but chocolate pudding, that's good. Mmm. Okay, that one is very decent. So, really impressed with this company. I'll put links below if you're interested in checking them out. There is a 16 other flavors that I didn't get sent that you guys could check out if you wanted to. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned to my channel for more reviews. Subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys.